everybody, it's Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to crochet this top. It's like t-shirt style top. Um, it's very easy to do. It's made with the primrose stitch. So if you're a beginner and you know how to double crochet and single crochet, this would be an excellent garment for you to, to uh, start on. So it's made with two panels um, um, sewed together and then we add the sleeves separately. Um, and then we border the neck and the bottom. You can make your sleeves as long or as short as you'd want. Leave them off if you, if you choose. And you can also make the top as long as you'd like. Now you see me wearing it in the photo. I am making the size medium and I am five foot three. So let's go ahead and get started on this. Okay, as always, I'm gonna ask you please not to forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not already and hit that like button. Um, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about the top. And don't forget to check out my hundreds and hundreds of other crochet tutorials <clears throat> that I have on my channel. All right. So for this project, the yarn I use was a hand dyed yarn. Um, it's from the Yarn Snob Yarn Company. Um, it is 100% Superwash Merino. It is a medium weight number four. The collar is called Keys Orchid 321. Um, and there are almost 1100 yards here and I just about used the whole ball of it so uh, but that was for my size now you do not have to use this yarn you can use um, any medium weight number four that you'd like now I'm going to refer you to the description box now in the description box you will find the gauge you will find um, all the measurements and I have it sized for um, small up to 5x and I'll have all the chain counts uh, for whatever size you're doing and it will have um, everything you know the, the numbers on the sleeves everything that you need to know will be in the description box so you would just uh, find what size you need and follow those numbers there um, and then it also give you an approximate amount of yardage that you need um, but all of them you want to use no matter what size you're doing we're gonna be using a size I which is a five and a half millimeter crochet hook Unless, of course, you gauge your yarn and you use a different size yarn. Um, so, we'll go ahead and start out. Remember, um, you see me wearing this the size medium. So, this stitch I mentioned is the primrose stitch. It's very easy. It is just a two-row repeat. Um, and it's done in a multiple of three plus one when you're working it back and forth. So, look at you... Um, description and you find uh, what chain that you need to start with and then you chain that amount and then we'll begin row one we are going to single crochet in the second chain from the hook so we do not count the one that's on our hook so in the second one over we're going to put a single crochet and then we're going to work one single crochet in every stitch for the length of the chain I'm showing you on a smaller scale So row one is just one single crochet in every stitch until you get to the end of the row. All right, once you make it to the end of row one, we'll go ahead and start row two. So row two, we are going to chain one and turn our work. So that chain one that we just did does not count as a stitch. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a half double crochet right back into that very first stitch. We're gonna half double. Just like that and now we are going to start the repeat of row two so in the very next stitch we are going to work in, into it and we are going to put a single crochet a chain of two and a single crochet all into the same stitch so that was single chain two single all into one stitch now we're going to skip two skip skip and do in the next stitch We'll do that again. Single crochet, chain two, and single crochet all into the same stitch. And then we'll repeat again. Skip two, skip, skip, and in the next, we work our single crochet, chain two, and single crochet. Repeat. Skip two, skip, skip, and in the next stitch, single crochet chain two 
and a single crochet all into the same stitch. Now you want to go ahead and re repeat this pattern until you get near the end of the row. Okay, so I made it and I um, I did a single crochet, chain two, single crochet, and I have four stitches that remain. I want to skip two, skip, skip, and then the second to the last one, I'm going to go ahead and put my single crochet, chain two, and single crochet into all into that same stitch. And then in the very last stitch, I'm going to put a half double crochet. And that will end row two. So now we're gonna start row three. In rows three and four are the repeat rows for the pattern. So we'll go ahead and start row three by chaining one and turning our work. And we're going to start by putting a double crochet right here into the very first stitch and it's kind of it's the half double from the previous row and half doubles sometimes look kind of weird it's this part hanging off the front here right here so go into that and work a double crochet this time like that now we're going to work be working into the chain two spaces that we made on the previous row we're going to go into the chain two space and we're going to work uh, kind of like a shell, a mini shell. We're going to work three double crochets into it. I'll just, we'll call that a shell for this pattern. Three double crochets into that chain two space. Like that. Now we're going to jump to the next chain two space right here. And we're going to work the shell again. So three double crochets. You just go right in the space in between the single crochets that we did the chain two and work three double crochets into that space. So there's one, two, and three. And then again, we jump to the next chain two space and work three double crochets. So our little shell. And we're gonna work a shell or the three double crochets into every chain two space until we get to the end of our row. Yeah. Oh, sorry that my dog is barking. Just like this. So I'm gonna repeat this, the three double crochet or the shell into every chain two space and I'll meet back up with you when we make it to the end. All right, I've come to the end of row three and I have no more chain two spaces. What I'm gonna do is end by putting a double crochet into my very last stitch of the row. Double crochet. And that ends row three. So now we're gonna start row four, which is the final repeat row of this pattern. We're gonna chain one and turn. Now this is very similar to row two. So we're going to go right back into this very first stitch and work a half double crochet. And now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be working in the centers of these shells. So these three double crochets, we're going to be working in the center double crochet. We're going to go right into it and we're going to work a single crochet, a chain of two, and a single crochet. Just like that. And then we're gonna to jump to the next shell or the next set of three here. And in the middle double crochet, we're gonna do the same thing. Single crochet, chain two, and single crochet. And this is what we're gonna repeat for row four. Jump to your next shell and in the middle double crochet, go into it and we work a single, chain two, and a single up to the next shell, the middle double crochet, single, chain two, and single. Now we're going to repeat this pattern until we get to the end of our row. We put the single, chain two, single into the middle stitch of every shell. All right, when you make it to the end of row four, I just did the single chain two single into the middle stitch of my last shell. Now I'm gonna end by putting a half double crochet into my last stitch here on the end. Half double. 
and that ends the repeat. Now what we do is just we keep repeating rows three and four, three and four. So for row five, if we were gonna start again, we'd chain one and turn and we would repeat row three and that is the shell stitch row. And then we would repeat row four, three and four, three and four, until we get it as, um, as many rows as you, as your, as it says in the description box, or if you want it longer or shorter than that, that's fine too. All right, so once you get it um, to the amount of rows that it that you need, that it says down in the description box. Now, when I say rows, I'm only counting the shell, the the little shell rows. I'm not counting the uh, single crochet chain two single crochet. So I have one, two, three, four. If I go all the way up, I have 25 rows of the shells now. Now we're gonna uh, mark off for our neck hole and that'll be row 26 for me. Now make sure you refer to the description box for the size that you're making. Or if you want to make it longer, by all means, you go right ahead. That is completely up to you or shorter. So what we're gonna do, also it'll tell you for your size how far how far in you need to go on each side okay so for my size that I'm doing I'm gonna go in eight shells so what I'm gonna do is chain one and turn and I'm gonna do the single crochet chain two single crochet row again so I'm going to go ahead and do my half double crochet into the first stitch and then in the middle of the shell, just like we've been doing, I'm going to do my single crochet, chain two, single crochet. And I want to do that across eight shells. So that was one, two, three. Four. Now remember, each size will be a different amount that you have to go across. Okay, here's my eighth one. Now you do as many as you're supposed to do for your size if you're making a different size than me. And then once you finish, you get, you finish your last uh, one in the last shell, go ahead and put a half double crochet into the next double crochet, the last stitch of that shell. Put a half double crochet into it to end that row. And then we'll chain one and turn our work. And now we're gonna go back and do the shell row so we will start off by putting a double crochet back into that very first stitch, that half double crochet. And then we're gonna work three double crochets in each of the chain two spaces. So just like the regular rows, we just made it shorter this time. So I'm gonna put the three doubles in every Chain two space until I get to the end of the row. Okay, when you make it to the end, just go ahead and end like normal, normal by putting a double crochet into the last stitch. And now we're gonna tie this off. You can tie off just a little bit longer uh, for sewing. Clip that off. And now we need to do the other side. So you can see I have one row here. So the other side, we're gonna flip our work. We're gonna do it the exact same way we did this <clears throat> as far as the number of rows that we do. Shells, I did eight. So I'm gonna do eight again. So now I'm on the back side of my work, but I have to work this way over now. So I'm gonna count over eight. One, for, for my size one two three four five six seven eight and i'm going to start not in the middle of that eighth shell but the last one and i'm going to start my yarn there 
chain one and I'm going to put a half a double crochet into that stitch and then I'm going to work across and then I'm going to go right here exactly to the very next stitch which is the middle of that shell and do my single crochet chain two single crochet and then jump to the next in the middle of the next one and do your single crochet chain two single crochet so we're going to do this till we get to the end of the row All right, now when you, I'm coming up here to the end and we will just end it like normal. We're putting a half double crochet into the last stitch. And we're gonna chain one and turn and then we're gonna go across with the row of shells. So we'll double crochet back into the first stitch. And we'll work three doubles into each of the chain and two spaces all the way across. All right, when you make it here to the end or to where you started here, go ahead and put a double crochet into that last stitch. And then tie this off. You can leave a long tail for sewing as well. Now, pull that through there. All right. So you got your neck opening there. Now I can say every size goes in a different amount, but every single size will have the same amount of shells in between. You should have 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11 empty open for the neck, no matter what size you're doing. This will be different shoulder area but the shells that are left open for the neck will always be 11. so now you want to make two panels exactly the same which i have already done we're going to sew them together so we're going to sew them together wrong side and then we will flip them right side once we're done so this is the right side of my work facing me here and then i'm going to take my other panel and put it this is the wrong side here so let's look at it here wrong side wrong side but when you flip them open like this right sides facing up right sides facing down so that way when you flip it right side out the seam will be on the inside all right so i'm going to go ahead and seam up, seam up the shoulder area first now you do both sides the same i'm just going to use the tail here and i'm going to neatly sew it together with a yarn needle. So I'm going to go through both loops on this piece and then both loops on this one and go through. And then I'm going to do, do that all the way across. So I'm going to go to the next stitch here and then the next stitch on the opposite side. So I'm going to be working at a back and forth method instead of an over over. So I'm going to grab the next stitch on this side and the next stitch over here, pull it through. And I'll do this all the way across until the shoulder area is all sewn up. You can go across it twice if you want, just to be sure. With this tail and then this other tail, if you left a long tail on, on the top of both of them. But this is how this part gets sewn up. So you want to do the shoulders the same. 
So after I make it all the way across here, I'll just hide my tail. And then I'll come over here to this side and sew it up the exact same way. Alright, so I got it sewed up here and I, it's still facing wrong side out. So now I'm going to sew the sides up, but we need to leave an armhole. So, I'm going to leave about 7 inches. Um, you can check the side chart to see if your size might need, need a little bit more. So get them, get it lined up here correctly. And I just take a tape measure and I go from the top down and then I mark off about seven inches um, on each side and that's where I'll sew up to. You could start sewing here and sew down or you sew the bottom and sew up. I think I'll just start right here. You know what? Let me look here. I think seven is going to work out okay for me though. <clears throat> so sewing it together, I'm going to sew it the exact same way that I sewed the top. Let me turn it around here. I'll work my way down. I still have my hand here matching up the, so that's about seven inches here. Now you, what you want to do is match, make sure your rows are lined up on both sides. You can kind of match your rows up. That one needs to go up a little bit. So right there. Makes my rows all lined up. And let me measure one more time. To make sure that's about seven inches. Or somewhere close to it. Yeah. Alright. And now this part you want to just take your time. Leave your seven inch opening there for your arm. And go back and forth. Um, nice and neatly. The same way all the way down I'm going to tie that in a knot there so that I don't come undone but you want to be make sure that you keep your rows lined up all the way down it's very important that your rows stay lined up but that way when you flip it right side out that they look lined up still you don't want them looking wonky so I just go kind of slowly back and forth as neatly as possible keeping my rows lined up and this is how we sew the sides together and we do it the same on both sides make sure you leave the same amount for your armhole so now since we marked off seven inches on this side or however many you marked off you can count your rows and do the same amount of rows on this side that way your armholes are the same size. Just remember it's very important to keep uh, your rows lined up when you're sewing it together. Otherwise it's not, it won't line up at the bottom if you don't keep them lined up as you're going down. So I always stop and look to make sure mine are staying in line. Depending on the yarn, sometimes it's hard to tell, like mine right now is. <laughs> it's hard to tell. All right. All right, I'm going to continue doing this all the way down. And when I get down at the bottom, I'll just clip my yarn, hide my tail, and then I'll do the other side the exact same way, leaving open the same amount for my armhole over there. Alright, so once you get it all sewn up, you want to go ahead and flip it right side out, which I have done already. So now we're going to work on the neck up here. So if there's a, a side that you prefer over the other, my sides really look the same, uh, just start on the back side of it. But like I said, they are pretty much identical. So <laughs> I'm just picking the side. And we're going to clean up the neck a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to start in the corner right here so you can see there's three um uh, double crochet here and then there's this stitch right here let's start in the first the last double crochet here and we're going to do a double crochet single crochet two together here so we're going to go into that last 
and then we are going to chain one. Now we're going to go back into that exact same stitch and draw up a loop. And then we're going to go into this stitch right here next to it and draw up a loop. And we're going to yarn over and go through all three loops on our hook. So that is a single crochet, two together. That took two stitches and made it into one. And now what we're doing is kind of working up the seam area here. So let's neatly kind of evenly space out our single crochets across the, the seam area. So yours, the amount that you have might be different than the amount I have, but just kind of evenly space out some single crochets here across the top of the seam area until we get over here to the corner again. Just do your best to space them out. It doesn't have to be exact. All right, so I've made it to the same spot in the front here that I did over there. So you can see I have this stitch here, and then here is the start of another group of three. So we're going to single crochet these two together. So I'm going to go into this one draw up a loop, and then I'm going to go into the next one, which is the first of this group of three, draw up a loop, and yarn over and go through all three. Now I'm going to go across, and I'm going to work one single crochet in every stitch across the front here of the neck. You'll be able to see these stitches pretty well, all the way across until we make it over here to the other side, in the same spot where we'll need to do the single crochet two together over here. But I'm gonna work across and I'll meet back up with you over here at the corner. All right, I've made it over here to, this is the top of my seam area here. So this is just like where we started before, the last stitch of this group of three and this stitch right here. We're gonna single crochet those two together. And then we're gonna evenly space out our single crochets here again across the top so the number you have might be different than the number I have just do your best to evenly space them out until we get where we need to do a single crochet it's hard to see the stitches up here All right, so I've come to the area where I need to do my single crochet two together again. So it's this stitch here and then the first stitch right here on this double. Go in, draw up a loop on this one, then go into the first double crochet of this group of three, draw up a loop, yarn over and go through all three. And now I'm going to work across putting one single crochet in every stitch until I make it back to my starting point. All right, so I've made it back to my starting point. You can see here's my double crochet, or my single crochet, two together right here. Here's the last stitch I just went into. Now I'm not gonna end this round with a slip stitch. I'm gonna use a stitch marker. So I'm gonna put it right here. That way I know where I start and where I, where I finish. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to, this single crochet, two together, I'm going to skip that and go to the next one. Pull real tight. And single crochet like that now I'm going to single crochet in every stitch until we get to the next single crochet two together that we did so I'm just put a one single on every stitch until we get up to our next single crochet two together which I am at right here and again, I'm going to skip that one. So skip it and jump into the next one and single crochet bit, pull tight so you don't have a, a gap there. There we go, like that. Now I'll be working across the front again and I'm gonna put one single crochet 
in every stitch until I get to my next single crochet two together that we did on the previous row. So all the way across the front here. It's just one single in every stitch. All right, I've made it to my single crochet two together over here on this side. And again, I'm going to skip it and single crochet in the next. Make sure you pull it really tight though. So it closes that up. And single crochet in every stitch until you get to your next single crochet two together. And actually be the last one. And we'll go ahead and skip it as well. Let's see where mine's at here. Okay, I've made it right here. It is. Skip it. Go to the next one, single crochet. Pull it tight though. There we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and single crochet in every stitch across the back here until I get back to my stitch marker. Alright, I made it back to my stitch marker, so I'm going to pull the marker out and move it up. And now I'm going to go around and I'm just going to put one single crochet into every stitch. So I'm not going to be skipping any stitches. I'm not going to be doing any single crochet uh, two together. So it's just working around one single in every stitch all the way around the front and back around to the back and back to our stitch marker. Just like this. Okay, I'll meet back up with you when I make it all the way around and we're back at our stitch marker. All right, so I make it back around to my stitch marker. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and call it quits here. If you wanna go around again, you can with another row of single crochet. That all depends on how uh, thick or thin you want your neckline to look. But here's my stitch marker. I'm gonna go ahead and slip stitch into that stitch. You can take the marker out as well. And then clip this off and then hide that tail. And then I think the neckline, let's see here, looks pretty good. <clears throat> I like it. Turned out pretty good. Yeah, looks good. Looks good. All right, so why don't we go around the bottom and clean that edge up? So I'm just gonna go around it with a row, <clears throat> one row of single crochet, just one single crochet in every stitch. So I'm just gonna start at the seam area here, kind of go into it, pull through chain one go back into that same spot and single crochet and I'm just gonna work around and I'm gonna put one single crochet into every stitch around all around the bottom and like I said I'm just gonna do one row um, you can do more if you want that's completely up to you but I'm just gonna clean it up with one round a single crochet all the way around the bottom and when I make it back to my starting point right here, I'll just end with a slip stitch here and tie off and hide that tail. All right, so I finished up the bottom. Now you can see it's just the one round, a single crochet. So if you want to not add sleeves, that's perfectly fine. If you want to add sleeves, I'll show you how to do that really quick too. Um, you can make them as long or as short as you want. So please refer to the description box underneath the size that you're making um, so I can it will tell you how many single crochet around that you need to have um, in order to start the pattern. We're going to use the same pattern we did here on our sleeves. Um, so when you're working it in the round, it's different uh, than working it back and forth as far as the stitch, as the multiple uh, we're going to be working it in the round on the sleeve, so it's just going to be a straight multiple of three. So I'm making, like I said, the size medium. <clears throat> so I'm going to need 48 stitches around for my size. Now when you look in the description box underneath your size, it will, under the sleeve section, it will tell you how many stitches, single crochets, you'll need to do around um, your sleeve area. Um, 
each sleeve is done exactly the same. So I need 48 single crochets evenly spaced out around the sleeve. So what I'm going to try to do is get 24 on this side and 24 on this side. You can do the same with depending on the number that you need. But I usually kind of try to start in a corner or down here at the armpit area. So the seam isn't that noticeable. I'm going to chain one. Now remember, I need to, for my size, I need to evenly space out 48 single crochets. So I'm going to go back into that same stitch and single crochet. Now I'm going to work around and I'm going to even evenly space out my 48 single crochets. And sometimes it can take you a few tries to get to get the number that you need, especially doing the second sleeve to get it to match up. But that's fine. That's just that's what we have to do. So just do your best to evenly space out your stitches to get to the number that you need for your size. So I'm going to get to my 48 for my size and then I'll meet back up with you and from there we'll begin doing this stitch again. Alright, so I have evenly spaced out the amount of stitches that I need. Now remember, both sleeves are done the exact same. So I've made it back around here to my beginning and I have my 48 because I need 48 for my sleeve size. I'm going to go ahead and end by slip stitching into my first single crochet. It's a tight one. There we go. Alright, now I'm going to chain one. I'm going to go back into that same single crochet and I am going to do a single crochet, a chain of two, and another single crochet into that same stitch. And then I'm going to start the repeat by skipping two stitches. Skip, skip, and in the next I'll do a single crochet, chain two, single crochet skip two, skip, skip, and in the next single crochet, chain two, single crochet, skip two, skip, skip, and in the next single, chain two, and single, and we're going to do this all the way around the sleeve, skip two, skip, skip, and in the next single chain two and single and i'm going to repeat this pattern all the way around until i get back to my starting point all right so i've made it back around and we're going to go ahead you when you make it back around you should have two stitches that remain go ahead and skip those in and we're going to end by slip stitching into the first single crochet right here so we'll call this row two of the sleeve because the single crochet would have been row one and now this is row two. So rows three and four will be the repeat rows for the sleeve. And you can do them as long as you'd like repeating these two uh, next two rows. So we're gonna slip stitch for row three. We're gonna slip stitch one time into the middle of this chain two space. And we're going to chain one and then we're going to go back into that chain two space and work three double crochets so there's one two three and then we're going to jump to our next chain two space right here and work three double crochets and as you can see it's the same pattern that we worked for the entire uh, project we're just working it in a round now and versus the back and forth motion Jump to your next chain two space and work three double crochets. Next chain two space, three double crochets. And I'm going to repeat this pattern, putting three doubles in each of my chain two spaces until I make it back around to the starting point. All right, I've made it to the end of row three. I just did my last three doubles into that last chain two space. I'm going to end by slip stitching into my first double crochet. I'm gonna start row four by slip stitching one time to the middle uh, double crochet of these three. So one time. And then I'm going to chain one. And I'm gonna go right back into that same stitch and I'm gonna work a single crochet, chain two, and single crochet. Then I'm going to jump to the middle stitch of this group of three, next group of three, and do a single crochet, chain two, 
and single crochet. Again, jump to the middle stitch of this group of three and I'm gonna work single, chain two, single. And this is what I'm gonna do all the way around. Middle stitch of the next group of three, single, chain two, and single. And I'll meet back up with you at the end of round four. All right, when you make it all the way or back around to your starting point, I'm gonna go ahead, I just did my single crochet, chain two, single crochet in the middle of this last shell here. And I'm gonna end by slip stitching into my first single crochet. Now, um, I'm gonna be repeating rows three and four until I get the sleeve as long as I want it to be. So, so for row five, I'm gonna repeat what we did on row three, which is the shell row. So I'm going to slip stitch over to the middle of my chain two space. I'm going to chain one and put three doubles back into the space. Jump to the next chain two space, three doubles. So you just keep repeating these two rows until you get your sleeve as long as you want it to be. You wanna make both sleeves the exact same. All right, so I decided to do four rows of the shells for my sleeves, you can see one two three four but you do as many as you'd like now this is how i'm going to end the sleeves so i just did my fourth row of shells and that's the row i'm going to stop at but i'm going to do <clears throat> excuse me one row of single crochet around it to kind of tie into the single crochet on the neck and the single crochet that we put on the bottom so i'm going to go ahead and end this round by slip stitching into my first double crochet and now i'm going to chain one and go back into that same stitch and single crochet and I'm just going to work around this final round putting one single crochet in every stitch all the way around just like this and when you make it back to your starting point you just want to slip stitch into your first single crochet tie off and hide any remaining tails that you have hanging around once you get your sleeves done you can be finished if you'd like I think it turned out super super nice I like it that's a look at the pictures in the beginning to get a better view of it but I really really like it and I'm super interested to see how yours turns out, what yarn you choose, how you choose long or short you choose to make your sleeve and everything like that. So if you make this, don't forget to show me a picture on my Bag of Day Crochet Facebook page, or you can uh, tag me on Instagram as well. There's links to both of those below. Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give this video a like and leave me a comment below and let me know what you think about this. I appreciate everybody watching. Have a good day. Bye guys.